Hi, this is Alex taking you through the Ideal POS 7.1 back office. The back office serves two main functions. One, to administrate your Ideal POS database and two, reporting. When you very first log into the back office, you will be presented with a live dashboard of reports. This dashboard is collapsible and customizable. So for example, I can collapse this window um, down and I can change what I report on from say hourly sales to uh, POS terminal sales. To administrate your ideal POS back office, you will have access to the menu bar. The menu bar contains all of the possible windows you can open up in ideal POS. So for example, if I wanted to edit my products, I can click on the file menu, go to stock control and get into my stock items, which will open the corresponding window. From here, I can edit my products and simply exit this window when I'm ready to return to the main back office window by hitting the X icon. The menu bar also contains further reports. These reports will generate into PDFs and from those PDFs you can print, email or schedule these out on regular intervals. So for example, if I wanted to generate a financial report, I can click on the reports menu, financial and click on financial report. All of our reports can then be filtered by different criteria. So in the financial report, I have a date range selection and I can also group them by certain types such as location or POS system. In other reports, these criteria can include department filters, sales category filters, clerk filters, etc. So there are hundreds of reports that you can generate in the ideal POS 7.1 back office. In this example, I'll just generate a financial report for today and select view, and this will generate the PDF. In Ideal POS 7.1, we also have access to a functions bar. Functions bar serves as shortcuts to very common windows you access in your Ideal POS point of sale. For example, you'll see here, we have a stock items window that will quickly navigate me to that window as opposed to clicking it into the menu bar. So for example, if I regularly access the inquiry and journal history window, I can simply click on this S icon next to the close button and that will create a shortcut for me. So if I now exit this window, you'll see I now have a handy little shortcut to access my journal inquiry in one click. And this concludes a very brief overview of the 7.1 back office. Stay um, tuned for some further videos.